Hey, welcome back everybody. Welcome on our new subscribers. Uh, what are we going to do today? Uh, we're going to go easy today. Just a little silly shit. Like these damn uh, motor mount screws on these Arma products. Uh, netting for your little fans and shit. What else was I going to do? No, I don't know. Oh, we'll go over how to put that damn uh, battery thing inside of a sludge. Sludge. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Let's get this top off. All right. Now, here's what I'm talking about. These bad boys right here. They, okay, these bad boys right here. They love to strip out. So, I purchased some. These are the same damn things. M4s by 14s. So, I wanted some uh, cap head screws, so I ordered some. M4s by 14s. And they sent me M4s by 14s. Only thing is, these are 17s. <laughs> it's 17 millimeters. It ain't 14 freaking millimeters. It's 17 millimeters. So I ordered some 4x18 to replace them. So. And watch that shit. I always got to pay attention, man. I did. I just, I just. Hey, his armor. Yeah, they're gonna be right. No, nah, they're wrong. Because these, these are too short. You can see, they ain't even as long as these. They're a little bit short, and that that'll strip out these things. There's just not enough teeth grabbing, not threads. All right. So, like I said, so I ordered some uh, four by eighteens. So you're gonna need two of them. These got nice big. Oh, I think these are threes. Let's sit down here for a second. Yeah, these are threes. So you ain't gonna strip this shit out. <laughs> then get yourself some washers. I had these laying around, man. So I don't have a clue what the hell they are. Just get something that fits your damn M4s by 18s. These are a little loose. I'm sure this is. They look like some Lowe's washers or something. Home Depot shit. Nothing special. All right, so. Uh, Let's see if these will come out. That'll be real interesting. Right, give me a second. Alright, moment of truth. Let's see if this shit gonna come loose. Or if I'm gonna strip it and then I have to get it already feel loose. Uh, uh. Ah, popped one. Oh, that one feels like it's almost all stripped already, man. Come on. I got it. Unbelievable. A little dab will do you, man. Especially this is that red plastic crap. Woesy shit. I like this shit. Can't use too much. Alright, so on there. So it takes a number three now. Instead of a two and a half. So you ain't you ain't stripping this shit, man. Unless your tools are all effed up. Oh. So that, that that's in there good. I guess another nice little gap. I'll plug this crap back in. But we still gotta move on to the next thing. This shit. I put this shit. We drive through grass and stuff and, and it gets in there real easy. So it, it's it's real nice to put these on it. It ain't that hard. And you can do it a lot better than I do it, I mean, so I know, I'm pretty sloppy with the shit. I think these are like two and a half. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these four screws out. I'll be right back. All right, got the screws off. Wouldn't be ideal if you had some uh, little washers to put behind them. It helps so it doesn't kink up the, the netting, which is this shit right here, which is actually this shit right here. Do some Home Depot those bullshit. I bought this pre-pandemic, so it's probably like $6. It's probably $800 now. But it still lasts you a lifetime. So, yeah, I mean, it's all dusty and shit. Let me throw this dirty-ass thing back where it was. Put it on the light, start a fire. All right. So let's, uh, basically there's a couple ways you can do this. You can cut it and then put it on here, or just put it on here and then cut it. <laughs> That's the way I do it. I get it close and then I trim it. Alright, so let me get uh, going here. 
And once again, you can do this any way that's convenient for you. This is the way I do it because I don't really give a crap because I'm going to replace it anyway when it keeps ripping. But uh, just line it up and then uh, cut some of it because uh, the screw bigger, is bigger than the hole. So you just got to cut some of these threads and then it doesn't bind up as easy. And then stick the screw through and then screw it in a little bit. Here, hold up a second. And then just snug it down a little bit. You don't want it to spin the uh, netting. And then try to get it as tight as you can. And then do the other side. All right. Let me get that done. All right, good to go. And just trim it up a little bit, or like you know, you can do it really super neat, or however you want to do it, man. And just put some damn screen over that shit. Whoa, the lights are flashing. Cause I do it on everything, so this one's got it. All right, so it's easy enough. It's cheap, quick, easy. All right, what else we got? Oh, uh, these screws right here that adjust the right height. You see, there's no way to adjust it right there. So what you gotta do is you gotta push the goddamn arm back, and then there's your screw right there. And then there's your screw right there. Pain in the ass. Pick your ass up some of these. Some technos. Some T K R one two three eights. And these work on a lot of different vehicles. They'll work on any of the freaking arm as a one eight scale shit. So they got it on the bottom, a hex, but yet they also have a hex on this end, the other end. So you'd have a hex right here, so it would be easy to adjust. Uh, other people make these, uh, not sure who, but they're out there. I'm sure tons of people make them, but these are one I got. They're cheap. You get just 10 of them. Nope, eight pieces, so you get enough to do two vehicles. But yeah, I gotta throw some on here. But I think I already put them on. I put them on this zip. It's a little dark over here. Yeah. Sledge has them. I put them on the Creighton. That didn't have droop screws. And this shit don't got droop screws. But the, uh, that's got them. Put them on there. So, yeah. Good investment. Where did they go? There they are. Yeah, they're cheap. I don't remember what they were. Under 10 bucks, I believe. And then there's always these. The shims. They work on any of the 1A scales. Fit right on there. You'd be surprised how much you'll use them. Three different ones. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. There's them again. Kyosho, part number 96644. You get 30 of them. This is your best buy. I buy these two at a time. Two sets at a time. Okay, so that. We went over that. Just... Type in M4 times 18 millimeters and whoever sells them the cheapest buy them. You know, I, I don't set you guys up with anybody to buy from, man. Ain't nobody paying me and my punk ass anything. So, buy from whoever you want. <laughs> that way, if I tell you something that you get pissed at the person you bought it from, but don't come back on me. <laughs> Alright, so, we're good to go. Took care of that. Took care of that. Took care of them droop screws. What else we got? What else we got? Oh, let's get, let's do the sludge real quick with the, uh, I put a battery tray in it. All right, let's bring that up. All right. You guys know I'm not a big fan of Traxxas, uh, battery tray configurations. I personally don't like being told when I can. I cannot use in my IRC that I paid good money for. So, when I did, I put an Arma battery tray in there. <laughs> It was just easier to try to cut slots and shit. And I did want to spend 50 bucks for a day of battery, battery tray, and then you got to get the servo thing with it too. But that's probably a good thing because this is all plastic. But hey, whatever. So yeah, let's fuck this in here. So what it is is basically this. This just doesn't have the straps in it. What I did was, and here is the uh, 
part that goes in there because I'm damn sure not taking this shit apart for you guys' ass. So we'll use this. So this is it. What I did was I basically just took this, put it in there, and as you can see, it don't fit. So I'm like, what the hell? So this, oh shit. That's sticking out, and that's sticking out. So I just mowed that out. I cut it out with Mr. Dremel. So I cut this section out, and I cut that little section out, and then it slides right down in there. So that, that depending on how tight you cut that slot for them two things, that, that automatically keeps the forward back nice and tight. And you only got to do it there and there. You don't need to do it on this side. And then once I got it in there, I figured out basically which one of these holes, well, you got to cut these little knobbins off too. You got to cut that knobbin off. You got to cut that knobbin off. And you got to cut that knobbin off and that one right there. There are four of them little bitches on there you got to cut off. And then, uh, like I said, so once you got the slots cut in it, you can get it down in there. And then you're going to find out which one of these holes do not interfere with something underneath here. And then just take a drill and zzz, 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 wherever you want the damn things. And then if you want some other ones, like after you take these knobs off, you put a drill through there, put a hole through it, and then you'll have it marked. That's all I did. So I, didn't, I don't even know how many did I put in here. Hard to tell. Looks like I got one there. I think one there, one there, and one there. So I got four in there. But that shit, that shit is on there. It ain't going nowhere, man. Right, so that's what I did. Yeah, I think it's four. Right down the center. So yeah, basically I just did this one, this one, this one, and that one. I just drilled a hole through each one of those, and then put a screw up through the bottom. I don't think it interfered. I think it hit this track. You might have trimmed this shit a little bit. And then just mount it back in there. Put everything back. And it'll look like this. Perfect. You put any batteries you want in there. Hold on a second. Alright, these two battery packs would not fit in this locking contraption Traxxas design. And as you can see, they don't fit in mine either. But, this thing comes out. There's a little tab on the front, man. Let me pull this bitch out. You pull that out. And now you can strap in whatever size batteries you got. I'd probably put another strap in here if you're going to run them bigger than that. But, <laughs> yeah, a little iffy right there. But, yeah, you need another strap. But I don't run these in this end anyway. So. But this helps. And then put another strap if you're going to put some super ass big ones in there. You convert this thing to 8S or some shit. Alright, so easy breezy. I just happen to have one of these laying around, so I don't know what they'd cost to pick one up. They can't be that much. But yeah, let's see. Push this forward, and that thing will come right out. Ta -da. So yeah. So I don't never go past this anyway, but yeah, if you're going to and you have to take this out, I'd put another strap in here. That should be easy enough to do. Yeah, you can fit one right across there. Wouldn't, wouldn't interfere with anything. Right there. Perfect. All right. So that's all you got to do for this bad boy. Let me get this shit out of the way. Yeah, let's finish this up. So the screws, man, like I said, they're M4 is time 18 millimeters. Just type that shit in on uh, wherever you buy your shit and get whatever you want. They make stainless steel ones too, but they're a little soft, so I'd, I'd stick with the steel ones. But you do what you want. The ride height, right there. Technos, TRKs, one, two, three, eight. Boom. Under 10 bucks. Shims, you're going to use the hell out of these if you got eight scale vehicles. These are Kyosho's. Those are 96644s. Man, what else? I think that was it. And then, uh, like I said, this is your standard ass uh, battery tray on a, on any freaking uh, 1A scale uh, armor. All right.
So then it is. Okay. Apparently, people get upset when I talk shit about these vehicles. Then, hey, I'm sorry, but if you want all the good stuff, you came to the wrong guy. <laughs> there's, there's a thousand people out there, man, that'll tell you everything that's good about these. But there's only a couple of us that'll tell you all the shit that's effed up about it. But anyway, so, you know, don't sweat it, man. They pick it on you. And plus, if I'm talking shit about a vehicle, it's because... I got the vehicle, <laughs> so it's mine. I just spent all that money on it. I don't get none of this shit for free. <laughs> I had to pay for it. Plus, I dump money into them. Ain't none of that shit ready to run. <laughs> that's a Reef Triple Four, man. That's a Max Five. I don't know what the hell that thing is. Oh, that's a 1650. So, yeah. Everything's... That's all dip when I strip shit out of that. But none of that stock. None of that stock. None of that... I think the motor on that stock, and that's it. Uh, just the motor on that stock. Everything else has been changed. So, yeah. So, don't sweat it, man. If I'm talking shit about it, and it's still on this shelf, it's a good vehicle. So, alright. Till next time. We'll figure out something else to piss people off about.